Hi y'all, welcome back to another week of devotionals. My name is Reverend Bailey, um, and it's a joy to be with you virtually for our second week of devotionals. Before we get started with this week's scripture and uh, Devo, I wanted to draw your attention to some of the other content that we've been putting up and that we will put up in the future. If you, if you go to our YouTube channel, which you are likely already on, uh, you can find all of our playlists for our different, um, our different activities and different content. So we have our devotionals, obviously, in, the, in this playlist, and you can find this week's and then past week's. Uh, last week we did one as well. And then on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, we will be posting a sidewalk play stop. Um, Eric did one yesterday, uh, 10 things you can learn from Disney's Meet the Robinson. So a really cool and creative thing that you can help uh, get engage your young leaders with or um, just watch to, to entertain and to learn yourselves as well. And then on Thursdays, every Thursday, we'll have a children's message, and Reverend Jeanette will be doing that tomorrow. So just another way to engage, uh, learn about God, and learn about God's people through uh, a short time of devotional. So all those things you can find on our YouTube channel, and be sure that you're following us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram as well. Those links will be down in the description. And so with that, uh, let us get started with today's devotional. The scripture that we're going to be focusing on today is Psalm 130, and it is uh, the subtitle says, A Song of Ascents. Psalm 130 says, Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in God's word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with God is great power to redeem. It is God who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Now, I don't know about you all, but the question, the number one question that I've been asking myself and the thing that's, that's really fueled a lot of my thoughts during this time of social distancing uh, through the, the COVID-19 virus is when will this all be over? When will we be able to stop this distancing? When will we be able to come back together again? When will this all go back to normal? As I read this psalm today, I'm struck by this, this verse. It says, my soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. And then it repeats that, more than those who watch for the morning. This group of people, those who watch for the morning, I'm wondering if today those people might be the same ones of us who have developed this mindset of asking over and over again, when will this be over? And instead of asking that question so much, maybe we can take this time to focus in on the unique giftings that God is giving us in this season. And so instead of watching for the morning, instead of waiting for that day when we will uh, set an end date to all of this and go back to whatever normal is going to look like after this, Maybe tomorrow, maybe in a few months, who is to say really how long this will take? Maybe instead we can be asking a different question. Maybe instead we can ask the question to ourselves of what is God teaching us in this time? How can I wait for the Lord? How can my soul wait for the Lord in a way that goes beyond simply looking on a calendar for this date when you can go outside and be um, in society again? And so maybe one of the unique giftings of this time, or at least it's, it's uh, learning and showing itself to be this, is that maybe this is a time for me to work on my spiritual life a little bit more. Maybe this is a time when, when stores are closed and the distractions are a little more limited um, and I can't go on as many social outings as I did before. Maybe this is a time when I can invest in myself and in my spiritual life, in my relationship between myself and God, myself and spirit, whatever you call that thing that is bigger than yourselves. And so today, if I'm going to offer you anything, the challenge is this. Take some time 
to learn what it means for your soul to wait for the Lord, not for uh, your soul to wait for the day that you can go back and shop again, not for the day that your soul is ready for there to be toilet paper in the store again, but what's what does it look like for you and for your soul to wait for the Lord in this time? And what does that waiting specifically look like? I think that we are called to wait in a way that is active, just like our faith is active. We don't get to say, we believe in God, we are a Christian, and then not do anything about it, right? That's simply a belief, but when we act on it, that is faith. And so for our soul to wait on the Lord, I think that is an active thing too. And I would challenge you in this time to work on making your faith active, to grow in your faith, to grow in your spiritual lives as you wait patiently for what is to come. And so I leave you with that. Go in peace, friends. Thanks for watching.